Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk headphones, not because, you know, this is the place to talk about them or anything like that. Um, if anything, I want to strongly encourage many of us to not wear headphones when we're out running, hiking, etc. There's simply too many things to pay attention to uh, not to mention the other people on the trails who you might encounter who uh, it, it would at least be nice to hear them if they said hello to you. That way you could say hello back. I'm kind of saying that because, hey there, howdy. Um, I've said hi to a lot of people on the trails, but for some reason the greeting is not really returned. In any cases, we're in our own minds, but to further compound that, Sometimes wearing headphones really takes us out of the um, out of the experience altogether. But because I recently shared a video on headphones and it got such a strong viewership, I wanted to talk seriously about the Jabra Active 8 headphones that I have and also the um, Shox Open Run. They're not the Open Run Pro, however, the open run and the Jabra <clears throat> and the Jabra headphones. Check this out. Hey baby bird. Coming to see what's going on. Both of those headphones cost about the same price as of the sharing of this video. And both of the headphones were acquired in the interest of possibly um, making the miles a little bit more easy. Here's the bird again. Looking for food? Looking for food, aren't you? All I've got is headphones. I've only got headphones, it's not food. I've only got headphones. It's not food. Hopefully I got our visitor in the frame. Um, as I say, there are many things going on out here. It could very well have been a bear. Um, if you saw, there was some motion that caught my eye and I looked over. In the same regard, when I'm out in a place like this, it could be a noise that I could hear that would bring my attention to whatever is around me needing me to uh, at least become aware of the situation. And so for that reason, again, I don't want to encourage people going out and getting headphones and doing all that stuff, but because of the viewership, and because of the algorithm and what I'm trying to talk about with regard to nature and the challenges it's going through, I want to talk about the two pairs that I attempted to use for my purposes of running on the pavement in the areas where I probably wouldn't encounter a wild bear or anything like that. But I have found shell casings and bullets throughout the uh, trail systems that I've used. So for that matter, whether it's a bear or a um, some other type of lurking predator, uh, being aware of our surroundings is critical. And so these, the Jabra Active 8, they have a feature called a hear through feature and that allows you just like it says to kind of hear through the headphones and you can hear uh, what's going on around you because I guess the microphones pick up the sound and then replicate it for you to hear but it's not as natural of a um, solution as what the shocks headphones have provided me with I'm going to show you those if I can get them out of the pouch here the Shox headphones are something that basically rests on your earlobe, your your this part of your earlobe, and um, 
and it plays the sound somehow it's called bone conduction so i don't know if the if the because you can look and there's no <laughs> here we go there's no real uh speaker holes so it's just a transmission of sound that's coming through these shocks headphones the open run are absolutely superior for all kinds of reasons in terms of using them for running headphones i out of the two um, would strongly recommend if you do need some kind of headphones for your for your running experience that you consider the shocks um, the website measurements that tell you whether you need a regular size or a mini size uh, the website description is pretty accurate um, because they have a wraparound cord you can't wear them and then lay back like maybe uh, listen to an audiobook as you're falling asleep in bed or anything um, so they're not meant for that type of purpose and so they're very specific as far as what they can be used for i kind of like the band because it kind of it holds my hair just a little bit off of my neckline which is almost like um, an air conditioning type feature and that's really about it. I know that you might have expected all kinds of crazy reviews with pictures and photos, and you can you can look online all you want to to find um, different pictures of the actual product. I haven't shown you the the earbuds, so I'll at least pull one of those out so you can see it. Hopefully, it won't mess with the audio here. But here's one of the earbuds. You basically just pop it in your ear and. Uh, like any other earbud. It's got a case that has a charger. The, the case has a carry some kind of a charge and will recharge the headphones for several times. Ah, that is one thing I wanted to mention that is applicable in, in this review is that the shocks have this um, magnetic, proprietary magnetic clip for the, for the charger on the headphones and um, having a heck of a time getting these things out of the pouch. And the magnetic portion of the charger is unique. And since it's proprietary, it snaps onto these little contacts that you see right there. Since it's proprietary, the thing about it is it doesn't charge using a standard cable that you would use for probably any other device in your um, in your gear list. So the only drawback, if I could give it a drawback would be that if you're going to remote places like this, you may, um, have trouble charging your device. If you forget to bring your cable, in fact, it'll be impossible. But the thing about it is that in a place like this, you really should not have headphones while you're traveling through places where mountain lions, um, coyotes, um, in the past there'd be javelina, any animal that can see you um, or recognize you as possible competition for the food that's in its proximity um, is something that you would want to become aware of. And um, well before it becomes aware of you, if, if possible. And for that reason, again, I would recommend just foregoing all headphones altogether. Uh, but if you need some for some reason, if you need some for making calls while you're in your tent, some earbuds, listening to audiobooks, soothing sounds, well, the Jabra Active 8 might be the ones that you want because you can lay down. There's nothing, no thing that goes around your head. Um, if you're not going to be running in them, if you're not going to be um, hiking with them, and uh, even if you are, and that's what you feel like doing, um, those might be the ones for you because they cover a lot of bases. But when you're running in the earbud headphones, I find that I, I experience the occlusion effect where basically it sounds like every step you take is, is magnified as a louder sound in your ear, in your ear canal. And with the, um, with the shocks open run, since they're not in your ear, there's no occlusion effect at all. They stay secure on your ears and it really feels like you're not even really wearing anything. Both headphones are extremely comfortable. Both of them are extremely um, well adapted to do what they do. The Jabra are 
waterproof. You can submerge, submerge them in water. And so they're, they're extremely resilient, just like the shocks. They're um, able to have a downpour of rain on them and your sweat and uh, for hours. And I know that this is true because I actually tested that the other day in the rain. Um, and I was extremely impressed without, without, with not having had any kind of electrical issues, uh, despite all the water that was happening to, um, to inundate those headphones. Anyhow, again, I know I'm kind of rambling, but this wasn't something that I intended to make a video for, especially in this place. There's, there's other things going on. Um, as you saw, I already had a, one of the birds came and visited me. And um, I know that there are a couple of deer just off screen over here. And I don't know what's going to happen next. But I can tell you that I will not be wearing my headphones while I'm running here um, or walking. And uh, that I have been using the Jabra Active 8 to um, make calls or listen to, and or listen to audiobooks um, if the uh, camp neighbors got a little bit too loud during the course of the night and to turn off the active noise canceling feature in those headphones was pretty nice. So since the, since the shocks are open ear, they don't have any kind of noise canceling uh, effect at all. It's almost like you hear an internal uh, version of a soundtrack while you're able to hear everything clearly from every direction, just as you normally would be able to without those headphones. So if I haven't made it clear, the shocks are the ones that you really want to go for if you're looking for your first pair of running headphones. Um, if you're looking for something in the gym to use in the gym where you're, you know, on seated workstations, working weights and all that, and you really want to block out all other sounds, probably the Jabra Active 8 are the ones that you're after. But in either case, just because they are a little bit more um, efficient, or effective for runners, I really want to point out that the the shocks um, are probably the best headphones and technology that's out there for this type of experience. Out of the two, one other thing I wanted to mention since I'm in this place here where I've seen a lot of one-time use stuff all over the trails, the um, shocks come wrapped in a plastic bag and uh, the other ones are just cardboard boxes. So, So I hope that video review made sense and again just because I had a lot of views on the other video I figure it must have been because of the title and maybe there are a lot of people searching for headphones but I want to make it easier for anyone who's out there who's trying to choose between those two specific types and honestly uh, they're they're both really good headphones, but if at any point you really want to use them, just always like traditional headphones where you can lay back, you know, on a, a couch or some seated surface, um, the earbuds are going to be your best bet. However, for working out and um, maybe for any purpose where you want to hear everything that's going on around you, the, um, the shocks open run are probably one of the best bets out there to amplify your soundtrack, uh, the soundtrack for your day. So I hope that makes sense. Until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.